CW is a National Science Foundation Science and Technology Center that was funded to focus on life in the marine deep subsurface, so studying life below the ocean floor. I think the driving question is what is the diversity, what is the extent of microbial life in the deep ocean, so in the rocks and sediments that make up 70% of our planet's surface. Well, the mission is really to discover what kinds of organisms exist where, how they function, how long they've been there, how they might be related to other organisms found in continental areas or in the overlying ocean, and to figure out what their impact has been on the evolution of the planet and life on the planet. They're big questions. This isn't a very narrow field, right? Because we're still really at this exponential exploratory phase. And so we wanted to bring together all the people within the U.S. and also extend to collaborators beyond the U.S. who are interested in this question because we're much more powerful as a team. And phase one, so the first five years of this project, was really focused on some major field operations. There have been these drilling operations at several places in the, in the Pacific Ocean and the Atlantic Ocean where we as a community have now installed seafloor observatories doing the exploration, drilling into the subsurface, bringing up water samples, rock samples, sediment samples, extracting DNA from those samples, trying to grow organisms from those samples. We're looking in places nobody has ever looked before. We're finding organisms that have never been seen before. So one of the big programs that CW has been pushing along is in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. It's a place called North Pond. It's about 4,500 meters of water, so it's a couple miles of water. And then beneath the water, we've drilled into the sediments and the rocks and we've installed observatories in the seafloor. We've been doing some pretty amazing experiments considering they're happening on the bottom of the seafloor. And what we're really interested in is how water is moving. Because when water moves, it brings life with it, it brings energy with it, it brings everything along. And you know, similar to ocean currents, we're curious about how the water is moving beneath the seafloor. So it was kind of our first attempt to understand the extent of microbial life in that type of habitat. I've been involved in exploration of a brand new area in the central equatorial Pacific known as the Dorado outcrop area. Last fall we had an expedition to this area to look for what we hypothesized to be occurring there, which was a massive outflow of relatively low temperature warm water coming out of the seafloor and carrying enormous quantities of heat. And we were able to collect samples and take photographs and, and make measurements and deploy instruments that we're gonna go back and pick up this fall in order to understand better how that system operates. I've had very few opportunities to go on what were truly missions of exploration. One of the aspects of CDAB that is very attractive is the new technology that is being developed within, within CDAB. What I've been doing has been looking at the temperature controls of specific groups of organisms on the Juan de Fuca site and trying to understand how organisms utilize their energy. One of the main goals in CW has been to train new researchers and to grow our community. And we're doing this at every level. The GEM program is the Global Environmental Microbiology course where the students focus on learning microbial techniques and we offer it at a national level. So we target both two-year and four-year college students. Medical science have always like interested me ever since I was little, but I just kind of had that, that general idea like, oh, well, being a doctor would be cool, but never did research cross my mind. That changed actually through the GEM program after that full immersion and basically learning how to use a pipette the first day to running PCRs and getting sequences and doing a lot of these procedures that I would have never imagined I could possibly, you know, have the chance to do. The high school component is kind of where we start to really draw on the students. We use a lot of different technology to kind of pique their interest and the high school camp is a collaboration between CW, C Grant, and the Wrigley Institute for Environmental Studies. The Wrigley Institute for, for Environmental Studies is a great institutional partner for us to have. So if we send an ROV a few meters down off the pier in Catalina Island, it does mimic sort of how science is being done with an ROV that goes two, three, four thousand meters down to the bottom of the ocean. We try to do outreach, especially when we're at sea, because that seems to catch the public's eye and it attracts some people to science who might not otherwise be attracted. Our speaker is Jason Silvan, who you can see on the screen. He's on the left. We created the network speaker series as a web-based opportunity 
where we could promote the results of our postdocs and senior graduate students to give them a chance to communicate with a huge community. So I think the big push in these next five years is going to be on the rocks and especially in these places where life moves really slow. We're ready to actually start integrating these data sets and thinking about the really big picture questions. There's going to be a lot more microbiological work done. We're going to be taking advantage of new information in genomics, information technology to understand which specific microbes are where. And this is a really exciting stage of the research. We're actually able to take the results from different places, different methods, and try to put them together to really get a, a holistic view of how those systems operate. All of that is going to be critical to the program. But it's this integration and synthesis, which is where the leveraging is really going to occur. And that's where I think CW is going to have a profound and lasting impact.